What's going on guys? My name is Laddydog and welcome back to another Alpha 16 tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to craft and build all 7 weapons in the game. When I say weapons, I'm talking about the guns. Yes, there are 7 guns we can find and make in the game. And I'm going to go over step by step how to build them, what you need, what ammo it takes, and what zombies are best against overall. So without further ado, we'll get into it. Alright, the first one and most common is definitely going to be the pistol. So, I have everything that we're going to need in here. So, let's start out with this. So, this is going to be the overall pistol icon whenever you build it. And what you're going to need, you can see down right in this corner here. So, what you're going to need is a pistol book. It looks like this. I don't know it yet, so it tells you the recipe. Let's learn that. And that will allow you to craft once you get the parts. So, let's get these parts in our inventory. And we'll go over it. So you can start with any one you want. As you can see, you click on it, you can assemble any part. So I'll start with the receiver. And you can just uh, shift and left click all the pieces in. So we're going to need the barrel, pistol parts, and the pistol grip. Now that will give you overall rating on your pistol after you completely assemble it. And it's just based off of what these numbers come out to be. And I believe it's just divided by 4 overall. Uh, and then your ammo for your gun is going to be your 9mm rounds. So click out of that. And you have yourself a pistol. You've seen before, the R to reload, you're good to go on the pistol. So that's it for the pistol. What it's good for is just practically any normal zombie. No ferals, no cops, you know, no special zombie, but just an average zombie. It's a, it's a great gun if you're just looting around that you don't really need to carry much resistance against because it, it doesn't take that much ammo. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does enough, and you know, its noise is alright. Next one we're going to go over are the shotguns. Shotguns are two different kinds. We have the shotgun long barrel and the shotgun sawed off. I actually just did a video on it, My actually my last video was which shotgun is better, and you guys should check that out if you want to know which one's going to be better overall. But that's besides the point. What you need to do is find the shotgun schematic. When you read this, it'll teach you both the shotgun long barrel and the shotgun uh, sawed off. So we'll start with the shotgun long barrel. You need a shotgun stock, receiver, shotgun parts, and the shotgun long barrel. Let's see and click on any part you want to start with it. Do it all together. And just gives you overall rating. Let's give this a 467. Now the shotgun long barrel can use the normal shotgun shell ammo. Or it can use a shotgun slug. As you see it has a normal ammo in the bottom right right now. Eight shots. Hold R if you want to change your ammo. And then you have the slug, so pretty cool. Next is going to be the sawed off. You need a shotgun short stock, receiver, shotgun parts, and shotgun short barrel. Build that real quick. Get self completed. And the sawed off shotgun can only carry a normal shotgun shell. It doesn't have the option to carry a shotgun slug at all. So these are good against uh, crowds, any type of like uh, wandering horde. Um, any type of special zombie too, if you're going to be close. Uh, it can do good against feral. It can do against good cop, as long as you know that the cop can't explode and just keep mind of your range overall. But other than that, this, this is a pretty great overall gun to have. Shotguns are really good. They did get a little bit of a debuff in the Alpha 15, but they're, they're still a pretty good overall weapon. Okay, next one is the hunting rifle, or I like to call the marksman rifle. And what you're going to need is the hunting rifle schematic. You see, learn that. You need a hunting rifle stock. You need a hunting rifle receiver, parts, and barrel. And this gun takes 7.62 millimeter rounds. Build this real quick. Okay, so about the hunting rifle. Hunting rifle holds one shot at a time. It does have a little aim gun sight. Uh, it is good for long range. It's good for picking off people. Uh, I would suggest it um, as a name post. You can use it for hunting if you want to use bullets. You don't have to. It's great for picking off really any normal zombie with a headshot. It'll, no, it'll pretty much kill them one shot. It should at least, depending on the uh, quality of it. I wouldn't use it against cops or ferals because since you only have one shot, as soon as you shoot, you know, you have this big drag time between shots. Cops gonna start running at you. Could explode, hurt your base. Feral, he's just always running, so I just want to suggest it against them. Alright. 
Our next one, and probably the one that got changed the most this alpha, is going to be the SMG. So, SMG, you have to find the SMG schematic. Read that. It takes 9mm rounds as well, which is a big change from Alpha 15 because it did have 10mm rounds before. They x that going to Alpha 16 because not enough people used it and were just not using the bullets and the SMG overall. So when they changed the ammo, it gave sense to use the SMG over the pistol more late game. So that was really interesting. What it takes is the SMG receiver, stock, SMG parts, and SMG barrel. Once you got that, load it right up. Also did get a uh, new work on the audio of it as well, which I'll show you. It sounds more silent instead of loud, like the last game. Its noise range is lower than the last alpha as well, and its kick is a little more than what it used to be, as you can see. This is great for wandering hordes, just tearing down enemies. It's great against pretty much everything. Uh, cops, if you, once again, you can do it because you can just burst fire them a little bit of distance away. But, you know, ferals it can do well, but it's, it's going to take a couple clips against the feral as well, so just keep that in mind, but you can really use it against anyone. Next is the Magnum. The Magnum is found mainly through uh, ferals, believe it or not. Then you're going to need the Enforcer magazine, so read that. That's going to teach you it. They do take their own specific bullet, which is called the 44 Magnum round, the frame, the Magnum cylinder, Magnum parts, and the Magnum grip. So we get that together... The Magnum is really ironic because you get it from Ferals, and what it's most known for is being a Feral killer. It does have a lot of kick, as you can see. Turn him down, but this thing tears suit any zombie you want. Cops is great at destroying, Ferals is great at destroying any zombie. It will mow down. It's a very strong gun overall. As you see, just any damage alone from one shot is 87, uh, and you get six of them. So. You can really tear through them. The only drawback, as you saw with the reload, is that it does have a slow reload time. Next is going to be a fan favorite, the sniper. What you're going to need is a sniper schematic. 7.62 millimeter rounds, which the hunting rifle does take the same. You're going to need the sniper rifle barrel, the sniper rifle parts, receiver, and stock. Put that together. And this gun is an absolute beast. And it doesn't have that much kick, so if you see it zoom all the way in, it just bounces barely. Another thing great about it is if someone's up close to you with Sniper, you can just get a nice little spray. This does a lot of damage. This is my favorite personally for cops, because normally when I'm in my base, they're a little bit further back in the distance. Just pin them down a lot quicker, a lot more accurate than the Magnum. And it's just a great weapon. If you find the sniper rifle, do save your 7.62s for to use it. That's what I recommend for sure. Last but not least, the Care Pack Drop Gun, AK-47. You get this mainly from Care Pack Drops. You can get it from other places, but it's a lot more rare. So let's start it. AK-47 schematic is what you need. It also takes 7.62. So now we have the hunting rifle, the sniper rifle, and the AK. It has a stock receiver parts and barrel so let's put that together boom now we have together load the AK is an amazing weapon it does have a lot of kick as you can see but this is absolute damage dealer only problem with it is it does shred through 7.62 rounds which is your sniper and your hunting rifle just keep in mind with the AK that, you know, it has 30 in a clip. You're using a whole clip, you know, spraying it down a horde. You just use six clips of a sniper rifle, a precision rifle. So if you do have the resources to expend and make these bullets, then you're fine. But other than that, just be wary and use it as a single shot. Just kind of pop shot them. Because it is strong. It can one shot headshot. There's no need to spray. And spraying your weapon does ruin the durability faster. So keep that in mind with the uh, pistol. The SMG and this weapon so it this thing can face anything I wouldn't be worried about it uh, overall it's a great gun and it's a very late game gun as well all right guys one last thing I want to show you in this is just the power of the AK so let's show you this six shots all took out of that all dead 
all dead. So it's a very, very strong weapon, to say the least. But I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. I just want to show newcomers into Alpha 16 how to actually assemble the weapons when you get these parts and how to actually build them, what ammo you're going to need, what schematic. If you like the video, remember to leave a thumbs up for me. And if you like seeing these tutorial videos, hit that subscribe button as it truly helps. Until next time, I'm Laddie Dog, and I'll see you later.